The purpose of this module is to give you a basic understanding about formatting data in Excel 2016. This module covers the following concepts of formatting data in Excel 2016. Font formatting, alignment and orientation of data, number formatting, cell styles. The presentation of data and its appearance on a printed page is called formatting. Formatting changes the appearance of data, but does not affect the actual cell value. Excel 2016 has several features to help you make important data stand out and to make your worksheet easy to read and understand. We will learn about these features in this chapter. You will find quite a few formatting commands in the font group on the Home tab. Font, font size, increase font size, decrease font size, bold, italic, underline, borders, fill color, font color. A font is a set of letters of the alphabet and numbers written in a particular style. For example, Calibri is a font, and so is Times New Roman. Changing font, font size, and font color. Consider the worksheet shown here. Follow the steps to change the font, size, and color. Select cells A2, colon C2. Click the drop-down menu arrow next to the font option. A list of fonts appears. As you point to various font options in the list, you will see the data preview for the selected font. Click Times New Roman. Excel changes the font in the selected cells as per your selection. Click the arrow next to font size. A list of font sizes appears. Scroll down the list to see the data preview for the selected font size in cells A2, colon C2. Select 14. Excel changes the font size in the selected cells. Click the arrow next to font color. A gallery of colors appears. Click more colors to get a wider range of colors to choose from. The Colors dialog box appears. Select your preferred color from the options on the Standard tab or mix colors to get your desired color on the Custom tab. Bold, Italics and Underline You can emphasize the contents of a cell by making the text bold by using Italics or by underlining the text. Just select the cell and click the bold, italic or underline button respectively. You are free to apply one or more of these effects on the same cell. You can also click the arrow next to you and select underline or double underline from the drop-down list. Figure shows how the text looks after applying color bold, italic, and double underline formatting to the cell range A2, colon C2. Background Colors and Borders You can apply a background color and borders to a cell or a group of cells. In this example, we will apply a background color to the header row of the table and a border to the whole table. Select the header row A2 colon C2. Choose a color. The color will be set as the background of cells A2 colon C2. You can also select more colors at the bottom of the gallery to access additional color options. Select the entire data. Click the arrow next to borders. A drop-down menu appears. Click the All Borders option. You will see borders drawn around each cell in the table. Or, click the More Borders option. 
the Format Cells dialog box will appear. Select a border style and a border color. You can also choose one of the preset border schemes or select border outline separately in the border area. You can also draw diagonal lines across a cell by clicking the diagonal border button in the border style box. Click OK to apply the borders. Click Cancel if you do not want to apply the borders. Alignment refers to the position where data is placed within the boundary of a cell. By default, Excel applies appropriate horizontal alignment to each data type. For example, numbers are always right aligned and text left aligned. You can control how the data is aligned in a cell. Figure shows the various commands in the alignment group on the Home tab. Top Align, Middle Align, Bottom Align, Orientation, Align Left, Center, Align Right, Decrease Indent, Increase Indent, Wrap Text, Merge and Center. To set an alignment, select a cell or range of cells and click the required vertical and horizontal alignment buttons. Vertical alignment can be top, middle, or bottom. Horizontal alignment can be left, center, or right. Orientation refers to the relative physical position or direction of text. The usual orientation is horizontal. You can change the orientation as you like. To change it, first select the cell or cells and then click Orientation in the Alignment group. Then click the required option from the menu that appears. Figure shows various types of orientation. If you have to align the data to a specific angle, click Format Cell Alignment option. The Format Cells dialog box appears with the Alignment tab selected. Under Orientation, using the mouse, drag the pointer to the required angle. The text in the selected cell will appear tilted at this angle. Click OK to apply the selected orientation to the cells. You can also type in an angle measure in the Degree Spin box instead of setting the angle with mouse. Working with long text. When text cannot fit in a cell, it spills out into adjacent cells. You can let the data spill out, but if the next cell contains data, the spilled out portion will not be visible. To avoid this, you can make the text wrap within the same cell. Select the cell and click Wrap Text in the Alignment group. The data gets confined to the cell but is displayed in multiple lines. Another way of dealing with long text is to merge adjacent cells into one larger cell. This can be done by selecting the cells and clicking Merge and Center in the alignment group. The text will become center aligned in the single merged cell. Excel provides a number of options for formatting numbers. You can specify the number of decimal places, add commas to separate long numbers into group of thousands, place a currency sign in front of the number, and display the number as a percentage. The various formatting type options for numbers are available in the Number Format drop-down list. Examples of their use are given here. Figure shows the various buttons available in the Number group on the Home tab. It also has options such as Accounting Number Format to select a currency format, the Percentage Style button, and the Comma Style button. The Number group also has buttons 
to increase and decrease the number of digits in decimal places. To explain these options, consider the number 987654 in cell A1. Click the arrow next to Accounting Number Format and select More Accounting Formats. The Format Cells dialog box appears. Select Symbol as Rupee English, India, and click OK. The Rupee symbol appears before the number in cell A1. Also notice the comma and two digits after decimal points appearing by default. Now, if you click twice on the Increase Decimal button, the number format changes to show four decimal digits. Click the Decrease Decimal button once. The number of decimal places will come down to three. You can use Excel 2016's pre-designed cell styles rather than formatting cells manually. Cell styles are used to quickly add professional level formatting to different parts of a worksheet, such as titles and headers. Select the cells on which you want to apply formatting. Click Cell Styles in the Styles group on the Home tab. Select a desired style from the gallery. The cell style will be applied to the selected cells. Now, let us do an activity. To do this activity, you need to change the font style as shown here. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this activity.